Welcome again viewers to Bratislava. This is not normal, but it made my day. Very, very nice gesture. I'm going to recommend the place 100% here. Uh, we're bang in the centre of Bratislava. I'm still looking for a wee cap to cover my head. 25 degrees, I'm going to get burnt. Um, let's take a wee walk and I'll show you where it is. Still on the main tram line. I'm taking the ages to get out this street that I'm staying in. Uh, I'll tell you where I was just in a wee second here. We're heading up that way towards Old Town. I believe the Old Town's up there to the left, maybe. Not quite sure, still exploring. Uh, this tram line's great, but it goes up and down all day. You're staying here. Great location. Right. I was just in the Pilsner factory there. I thought I'd have my first beer in Bratislava. And I'll tell you something, first impressions. What a friendly place. Um, they've just opened, okay? They've got a massive selection of beers. At the end, I'll, I'll leave a wee video show you the menu and stuff like that. They've got a massive selection of beer in there, and they've got a wee beer garden. So I had a large pilsner, and uh, see the wee beer garden just down there? I won't go right in because there's a couple of people sitting outside. Um, they've just opened. Brilliant selection of beers. There's some rock music on. It seemed like a really cool place. And uh, the girl poured the beer, and then I gave her 10 euros, and she says, oh, sorry, if you get any change, we've just opened, I don't have any change. And I says, um, sorry, I don't. And she says, well, just have it on us. How nice is that? I says, I'm back in the area later on. I will be back in this area because obviously I'm staying here before they shut. I think they shut at midnight. She says, I'll pop in and I'll, I'll give you the money for the beer and I'll buy you a beer because that was a very nice gesture you've done there. So how nice is that? Your first impressions there of friendly service in Bratislava. They gave me a beer for nothing because they didn't have change. Not everywhere would do that. Smoking gentleman as well looks interesting. Let's continue. So, I need to try and pop back there. It just depends how I go on my videos. I'm heading up this way. Um, I'll be back down this way at some point later on. But I feel obliged to go back in there and uh, obviously get some change. Most places, I think, prefer cash, but there might be kind of a card place. I never thought I should have just said you want card, but then it, the, the beer was only one euro 80. It was really cheap. One euro 80 for a lovely beer. Um, they had spirits at a couple of euros, two or three euros as well, so a really affordable bar. So probably if I pay by card, by the time your card fees comes off, that's hardly worth it. So they probably do prefer cash, they just didn't have change. What we got over there, the casino? Let's check that out in a second. This is good, I'm just finding new places, just wandering about. Like a down left or right, I'm not sure. What we've got down here. A Vespa cafeteria, okay, interesting, quite busy as well. Eh? More main streets down there, I'm not quite sure where I'm going yet. What we got up here, I did notice the casino, which dangerous enough is next to my hotel, so I could pop in there now home as well. Need to get my passport, probably. Funny how you need passports for casinos, isn't it? Um, there's quite well signposted historical centre down the left. Presidential Palace is up there. Don't think I've got time to go to half these places. I'm only here on a very, very quick trip, but you never know, I might. So, we've got the casino there. Don't think there's much else up there, so we're going to go down this way. Right, let's quickly go down this way. So, have you ever had a free beer? Viewers, have you ever had a free beer? It's a nice wee restaurant here. Let's check it out. Indian restaurant. Oh, we we'll have to have some local food butter in here, but won't I? They've got a specialist spicy sausage here. It looks quite nice and mashed potatoes. Let's see if we can find it. But there is the Ashoka Indian restaurant. Now there's lots of Ashokas in Glasgow. All my viewers from Glasgow will know where the Ashoka is. And um, we've got a couple down the south side. And they've got one here in Bratislava. Not much going on up there, I don't think. Possibly some shopping centre at the top there, not be going there. Let's continue. So, a free beer. How exciting, a free beer. I should have took notice of that sign there actually, tell me where to go, I'm not quite sure. This place looks lovely, look at all the pictures up the wall, what's it called? Bella Napoli. MD from Bratislava, let me know. Am I doing your place justice? Showing all these interesting places. Indian restaurant and bar, another Indian's. The red chilli, so oh, there's definitely a few places nearby that are going to suit me here. Old Town Supermarket in there. So at this point, I think we're not that way because I've just seen obviously quite a famous, I was going to say building or monument there, but I'm going to be going up that way, yeah, definitely. 
Oh, 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 oh. Just seeing Happy are advertised here, viewers. I've noticed Star Pram is quite prominent here. Is it brewed here? I don't know. I've seen it quite a lot of places. Chalk D, Thai Massage and Spa. But they've also got Happy Hour and the Shisha Pipes in there as well. So it's not actually a bar, they've got Happy Hour Shisha Pipes. This is a wee bar next day, but it's not open yet. Open later on, maybe. Some sort of eight club exclusive over there, don't know what that's about. So, quite an amazing start. It's not normal to be given a free beer when you arrive in the place. I'm going to have to go back and buy them a beer. Manifest. Got oh, these wee bikes for high here as well. Some beautiful buildings here. I think we're going into the kind of nice part now, the old town. Rooftop bar up there. The looks of it. Not been down that street yet. Quite nice buildings. So quite, already I can see there's quite nice architecture. You have to wait till you come into the centre up. When you come from the airport and the train station, your first impressions won't be great. You're thinking, mm, I'm not sure about here. It gets nicer. Beautiful, eh? You be careful about the trams, the mares on the roads, they're almost the same colour. The pavements, it's very easy to walk in front of the trams. Especially if you've got a gimbal and a phone taking videos and you've lost concentration. 100%. Going gun here. That's a church for a service on just now. Yeah, we won't go right into a service on. We're not gonna go in just now. Okay, let's continue. First time looking down this wee street, no idea where I'm going. Another hostel there, I'm staying in a hostel. It's very, very basic. They say the least bit of location is brilliant. The location is just literally just right down there where we came from. Can't complain. Private room, £34. Incredibly basic, but Oh, there is a castle up there. I've seen quite a few videos up the castle. I don't know if I'm going to go up the castle because there's not that much to film up there apart from a nice view. So we'll wait and see. Little cookie place there, Doris Cookies. Looks interesting. Hear the birds singing. It's a pretty quiet city, but even during, during midweek this is getting filmed, but I've noticed it's pretty quiet. Music come from somewhere. Ah, the church again. Beautiful buildings. When I was looking at the videos in Bratislava on YouTube, I do the same as all you guys when you're watching videos. I'm going to a new place, I go and see who's done, done videos. The best one I've seen was a couple, I can't remember their name, a couple that do loads of YouTube videos. It was a really, really good video. And they went around all different places. If you remember the name, I'll edit this video and put it in for you. But um, I noticed there was lots of churches and lots of castles in Bratislava. I think there's a service on here as well. Yeah, there is a service on, so I can't go in there either. The cafe bar over there as well, nice. Lots of people waiting on the tram. I could be going the completely wrong way here. I wasn't really planning to go up to the castle, but it doesn't look that far away. Just up there, see it? The videos I did watch it, they did look very, very nice around about there, but... Yeah, I'm probably going to head towards Old Town. Things, they can't get any better than getting a free beer at the start, can it? Can't, there's a nice beer as well. I felt bad taking it, but she'd already poured it and says, just have it on us. I thought it'd be rude not to. I'll try and come back and get you a wee beer. Let's cross over. It's nice and peaceful around here. So that's a historical centre advertised down there, down on the left. Right, head down there as well. Wee coffee shop. Can't really miss the castle right up the top there, can you? So it's nice. Pots, coffee and sweets. It's lovely. 
we we'll head up to the top here and then decide where we're going. These wee doors are lovely, look at this. That's a shop or apartments, not sure. Busy that road down there, there's hundreds of people waiting at a tram stop down there, or a bus stop. It's on the main road. You'll see up here, we've got the Bolt cab. I don't think they've got Uber here, but they've definitely got Bolt. Here's a wee bit of history for you. Here lived the world wrestling champion, David Unrich, with his parents in 1939, and they managed to flee from the Nazis. A wee bit of history there for you. Another tram. Some beautiful buildings, look. Now that's the, um, that's the famous one right in the distance there. Now, everybody calls it the UFO, but I think it's called UFO. So basically at the top, they've got an observation kind of restaurant, a lovely looking bar, and you pay money and you got the top. It looks a bit far away, I don't know if I'm going to make it, but absolutely beautiful. But a bit different, a bit unique. Some nice views of the buildings up here as well, eh? There's a hotel over there. Was it called the Falkensteiner Hotel? I think I did see that when I was looking at hotels. There's kind of a mix of modern buildings and buildings that are very, very dated. You'll see some buildings as you come in that kind of look more from the kind of Soviet era, and then you see some modern ones. There's the Ibis. Um, I did look at that one. It was really affordable. It was like sixty-five pounds. Still, it was still nearly double what I've paid. It would be a lot nicer than the one that I'm in, to be fair. But I'm never in the room, so it doesn't really bother me. Nice wee cafe here as well. So decision time. Where will I go? What an amazing start. Not normal to get a free beer, is it? But I loved it. Uh, I need to decide where I'm going. It's quite interesting when you're in a city and you don't know where you're going. I'm not Google Marked anywhere, just walking about finding places. Looks like a nice cafe there, doesn't it? Stop settling for less, have an affair with our coffee. That's the slogan. So if you think they're staying at the Ibis, I'm showing you the location, it's right here, you're right up next to the castle. Just beyond there. Don't think there's much to show you up on this side. Guy doing wheel spins there. Far too hilly to even consider going up there, viewers. We'll not be doing that one. Uh, so yeah, a wee bit of a hill the Ibis one, but quite a good location. Okay. Lots of nice buildings to go and explore. I'll catch you in the next one. Hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, really appreciate it right about there. What an amazing start. Free beer in Bratislava. Pop in to the Pilsner factory, uh, the brewery. You Pop in and have a beer, they deserve it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.